The Berenstein Bears Nature Guide. Almost everything small bears and kids need to know about. The animals, the plants, the earth itself, with actual facts about frogs, possums, birds, fish, trees, rocks, ladybugs, earthquakes, and lots more by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Come, the wonders of nature await you outside with me, Papa Bear, as your nature walk guide. In all my years as a nature guide, I have followed one rule far and wide. Be alert for any sign or sound. The wonders of nature are all around. Yipe! Now there's a wonder of nature not many have seen. Wow, Papa Bear, we see what you mean. Ah, yes, nature is happening every minute, and some of us get very caught up in it. Actual facts about nature. What is nature? It's everybody and everything. A peacock's tail, a butterfly's wing. It's snails and stones and dinosaur bones. Volcanoes, earthquakes. Cousin Liz, that's just a part of what nature is. Nature is the world of animals, from the biggest whale to the smallest flea. It's the world of plants, from the tiniest weed to the tallest tree. It's the earth itself, the rocks and soil. And from under the earth come coal and oil. Nature is every person, thing, and place, here on earth and out in space. Nature's the sun, the moon, the stars. It's faraway planets like Venus and Mars. It's the mountains, the valleys, the shore, the sea. Nature is you. Nature is me. It's all that is or was or ever will be. And that's a lot to talk about on just one nature walkabout. We sense nature all around. We see it, smell it, we hear its sound. Things we can see. Buttercups. A bumblebee, a possum hanging from a tree, seven babies on her back, a hummingbird, a beaver's track, crawly creatures under rocks, cockleburrs caught on socks, a hungry bear. Will you please excuse us fish? We're great natural's favorite dish. I see blue. The blue jay is a lovely sight, all blue with bits of black and white. I see red. What is so red as a woodpecker's head? We see a wasp daubing mud. We see a snake, a new green bud. Milkweed pods, milkweed seeds. A heron hiding in the reeds. We see a web, we see a spider. I walk on water. I'm a water spider. We see our friend, the ladybug. Ooh, ugh, we see a giant orange slug. Some things we hear. The loud rat-tat of the woodpecker's beak. The hoot owl's whoo! The mouse's squeak. The bright sparkling sound of a bear country creek. We hear a crow. Caw! Caw! We hear the beavers. Gnaw! Gnaw! Whippoorwill! Whippoorwill! My song and name sound the same. We hear a burp. We hear a chirp. Did you know? that when a cricket sings, he's only rubbing his two front wings. Some things we smell. Fresh, clean pine, sweet red grapes on the vine. The ones that fall soon smell sour. We smell an onion. We smell a flower. It's a special treat for my nose when I bend down and smell a rose. We smell grass, moss, fresh cut wood. That stink bug doesn't smell so good. Just a minute, Papa Bear. Do not put your nose in there. Yes, to study nature really well, you must always use your sense of smell. Pew! If you follow your nose to where skunks are, you'll find you have followed your nose too far. Actual facts about the world of animals. Are you an animal? Animals are living things. So whether you're a bear or a bird, 
or a honeybee. If you're alive, you just might be an animal. Animals can move around. They can walk or run, fly or glide, swim, jump, crawl, or slide. Plants can't move around. They are rooted to the ground. So if you're alive and move around and are not rooted to the ground, then it seems, at least so far, an animal is what you are. A few animals are rooted to the ground. The sponge is one. To be a sponge is not much fun. Three, animals need food to stay alive. If plants are what you like to eat, the word for you is herbivore. If meat is what you like to eat, the word for you is carnivore. Great natural bear eats either or. The word for him is omnivore. So, if you're alive and move around, if you need food to survive, it's beginning more and more to seem that you can join the animal team. Four, animals reproduce. A good thing, too. If they didn't, there wouldn't be a me or you. They reproduce in different ways. We hatch from eggs. Our mother lays. Sister bear and her brother grew from eggs inside their mother. Some animals are so very small they do not come from eggs at all. What do these tiny creatures do? They grow until they split in two. So, if you're alive and move around, if you need food and reproduce, then whether you're a mite or mouse, bee, baboon, or silly goose, I'm sure that you can plainly see an animal is what you must be. The beauties of nature are all around. As your nature walk guide, I have many duties. Now let's take a moment to enjoy nature's beauties. Feel the hush of a woodland glade, the sudden cool of a woodland shade. After the sunlight, it's hard to see the moss, the vines, the twisty old tree, all reflected in a woodland pool. Everything is peaceful and cool. The rich smell of a woodland breeze, sunlight slanting through the trees, the low hum of woodland sound, natural beauty is all around. Actual facts about the different kinds of animals. Mammals, dog, cat, rat, mouse, deer, horse, and bears, of course. Porcupines, bats, kangaroos, Kangaroos, camels, these are all animals that we call mammals. Mammals grow fur or hair. Some have a lot like great natural bear. Others just a little, scattered, here and there. Mammals have their babies live. That is, mother mammals do. Some of them have a lot. Others, one or two. Mammals nurse their young, that is, mother mammals do. This works very well when feeding one or two, but if, like mother possum, you have many mouths to feed, you're going to have a busy time indeed. Porpoises and whales, they are mammals too. They nurse their babies in the sea, not an easy thing to do. There are many strange and odd-shaped mammals like walruses and two humped camels, but what is really strange to us is the funny duck-built platypus. It has a furry body and furry little legs but its feet and bill are duck-like, and duck-like it lays eggs. The bear's official bird-watching station. The bird's official bear-watching station. Birds come in many colors and have many different habits. Robin redbreast catches worms. Owls catch mice and rabbits. Papa Cardinal is very red. Mama's mostly brown. The white-breasted nuthatch has dinner upside down. The vulture sees for miles around. Canada goose makes a honking sound. Hermit thrush are very shy. Hawk is fierce and bold. Stormy petrel likes the rain. Junko likes the cold. Some birds are very proud. They say their names right out loud. Tohe says, Tohe, Tohe. Chickadee says, Chickadee dee. Guess who says Bob White? Bob White. If you guessed Bob White, you're right. Oriole's nest is one of the best. It's big and strong and round. Killdeer builds no nest at all. It lays its eggs on the ground. Cowbirds are not very good mothers. They lay their eggs in the nests of others. See the great brown pelican? Its bill holds more than its belly can. 
Ducks and geese are waterfowl. Seagulls like to swoop and soar. Sandpipers run along the shore. Advice to mice, beware of owl. The marten likes apartment houses. A wren's front door is the size of a mouse's. Mockingbird can imitate the robin when it sings. When looking for a mate, the ruffed grouse drums its wings. The ostrich stands eight feet tall. For its size, its wings are small. Maybe that's the reason why the mighty ostrich cannot fly. What about the kiwi? Why can't the kiwi fly? If you ever saw one, you wouldn't wonder why. On any nature walk I take, I always go past Great Swamp Lake. Turtles, lizards, a water snake, reptiles live in Great Swamp Lake. If we wait a little while, we might even see a crocodile. I already see one, Dad. You're standing on him, and he looks mad. Reptiles, such as lizard, snake, and crocodile, have been on Earth a long, long while. Their cousin, Mighty Dinosaur, doesn't live here anymore. Extincts the word for dinosaur. Here's the story of a toad and a frog, the two amphibians from Swamp Puddle Bog. One afternoon, a toad and a frog were napping together in Swamp Puddle Bog. A fine, fat fly came a buzzing right between the toad and his cousin. The toad and the frog each opened an eye and thought to themselves, a fine, fat fly. I'll shoot out my tongue in a zip and a zap, have a quick swallow, and go on with my nap. Out came the tongues as quick as a shot and tied themselves up in a big sticky knot. Where was the fly? The fly was still there, but the two sticky tongues were stuck in midair. To untangle them took the rest of the day, and as for the fly, he got away. And what do we learn from the fly that came buzzing? Never stick out your tongue at your cousin. Actual facts about toads and frogs. First, the mother lays her eggs. Tads hatch out. The tads grow legs. They grow until, one fine day, they lose their tails and hop away. Fish and other animals of the sea. Another kind of animal can easily be seen from actual factual submarine. Sardine, bass, tuna, flounder. That sunfish is a thousand pounder. Sawfish, sailfish, swordfish, codfish. Seahorse is the ocean's odd fish. Catfish, hogfish, batfish, dogfish. Dogfish bite, but they can't bark. The same with conger, eel, and shark. Lobster, crab, and their relations form a family called crustaceans. Octopus and giant squid are similar, but not the same. Mollusk is their family name. Wherever you go, you will find members of the insect kind. If you look closely, you will see. We have three-part bodies, one, two, three. Most of us have two pairs of wings. Our antenna are these feeler things. Most of us have three pairs of legs, and most of us lay lots of eggs. Hey, what's the hurry, big and furry? Insects are an important kind. There are more of us than all the rest of you combined. Got no time to talk to ants. We must go on to the world of plants. Actual facts about the world of plants. What a plant can do and what it can't. You can visit your friends and watch TV. A plant can't. You can jump a puddle and climb a tree. A plant can't. You can also read and write. A plant can't even fly a kite. But there are things plants can do that you and I could never do. When water rushes through your yard in very rainy weather, all the grass roots underground hold the soil together. In places where you have no lawn, you may find the soil is gone. Plants are food for us to eat. Every cabbage, bean, and beet, all the rice and corn and wheat. And in a way, plants help make meat. Look at the chickens. They feed on grain and seed. Have a drumstick? Yes, indeed. Plants are also very good at making different kinds of wood. The wood for houses, boats, and skis comes from different kinds of trees. Even clothes can come from plants like jeans and cotton underpants. Plants help make the air we breathe. They make a gas called oxygen the gas we use when breathing in. 
Plants need a gas called CO2, which they get from me and you. We breathe out CO2. That's something we can think about as we are breathing in and out. So next time you need a plant, remember, what a plant can do is more important than what it can't. Actual facts about the different kinds of plants. The biggest, strongest plant we see is the kind of plant we call a tree. Elm is smooth. Hickory is rough. Willow bends. Oak is tough. Pine and spruce are evergreens. They keep their leaves year-round. The broadleaves lose theirs in the fall. You'll find them lying on the ground. No matter how many kinds you name, in some ways, trees are all the same. Their roots grow deep into the ground. Their trunks of wood grow thick and round. Trees are covered with a skin called bark. See for yourself in a woods or park. Flowering plants are pretty. Many smell good, too, but flowers aren't just pretty. They have a job to do. And all such plants, even weeds, the flower's job is making seeds, especially weeds. Most kinds of plants need water almost every day, but not the kind called cactus. It's built a different way. Cactus stores up water in its special stem. When animals try to get it, ouch, too bad for them. Algae forms thick green scum. Great natural tried to walk on some. Splash. The green one often sees on the shady side of trees is moss. If you study ferns, you'll find they don't just grow. They unwind. When an orange gets all yucky because it's very old, a plant is growing on it. The yucky plant is mold. The mushroom is a fungus. It grows from specks called spores. Warning, never eat wild mushrooms. Just those that come from stores. There are some carnivorous plants that like to dine on flies and ants, like the Venus flytrap. Crunch! It just had a fly for lunch. Lucky for us, these plants are small. What if they grew ten feet tall? Look at this climbing vine with three-part leaves that really shine. Poison ivy, don't touch it, sister. The slightest touch can cause a blister. Come, for our nature walk to be complete, we must study the earth beneath our feet. Actual facts about the earth itself. Water helps to shape the land. The ocean brings the shore. It's sand. But during storms, the ocean may wash some sandy beach away. Rivers help to shape the land. A river made Grand Canyon grand. Freezing water does its part, too. It can crack a rock in two. With the right amount of rain, this flat land we call a plain is, perf is a perfect place for growing grain. If you take away the rain supply, you get a desert, brown and dry. As we cross the land, we can see how different its shapes can be. This high ground is called a hill, a mountain's even higher still. Tall mountains may be snow-capped. Others may wear green. Valley is the name we give the low place in between. Hollow places are called caves. In the ones deep underground, stalactites and stalagmites are very often found. Water dripping in the caves is the reason they have grown, because you see each water drop carries bits of stone. And even though inside some caves it's always drippy weather, it takes about a million years for them to grow together. A reminder, stalactite and stalagmite. Only caves have got them. Tight is always on the top, and might is on the bottom. Rocky coast, island, dune, lagoon, marsh, inlet, bay, rolling hills, mountain ridge, giant boulder, natural bridge, lake, falls, rapids, a cliff, a ledge, a creek, snow-capped peak, beyond the earth, the setting sun. Our nature walk is almost done. Now you know some things you didn't know before. Next time you study nature, you'll learn a few things more. Now we know what kind of animals we are, and how we fit in nature, a world so big and far. It reaches from our own front steps to beyond the farthest star. The wonders of nature will never cease. It's a wonder to me they got back in one piece.